Hi. 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 I'm Hi. I'm <laughs> Hi. I'm Amelia. I'm Amelia Tamaya. In other news, Recreational marijuana sales became legal in Massachusetts at the end of 2018. Western Mass has made national news recently with two new licensed recreational marijuana distributors. These establishments have brought many new people into the area as they are two of the only dispensaries in all of New England. Their products are only available recreationally to adults over 21. However, they have been available medically to patients since 2012. We wanted to investigate how the recreational marijuana dispensary is working with the local community, so we sat down with representatives of the industry to find out. Uh, Northampton has been extremely welcoming of the medical marijuana dispensary that Netta and I opened um, three years ago. And in November, we had a really spectacular warm welcome when we opened for adult use. Netta offers a wide variety of ways of individuals being able to use cannabis. and. Um, all of the products are available both for medical users and also for adult users. And the products include things as wide ranging as suppositories, pills, flour of course, vapors, um, edibles, many, many different products. And if someone goes to netacare.org, they can find out what all of our products are but one needs to be 21 to access that website. We also took to the streets of Northampton to speak with the locals to get a feel for the public response to the new recreational marijuana dispensaries. I appreciate it. I think it's an addition to the community and I think it's going to benefit. Northampton has been waiting for this for a long time and for such a small town I appreciate the fact that they brought us into that fold and I think it's great for the for the um, economy of the community. Por el momento siento que a mí no me afecta mucho porque mis hijos están pequeños. Si fuera legal solo para recetas médicas fuera perfecto para mí, pero siento que si es legal para toda la comunidad eh, puede afectar mucho porque en los adolescentes puede tener mala influencia aquí. Pero por el momento siento que están vendiendo solo a mayores de edad. I am the president founder of a program called Mass Drug Alcohol Prevention. I deal with people on the street that suffer from a disease that's an addiction. Addiction is an addiction. Like you see this cup that you see on video right now? This is an addiction. Caffeine is an addiction. So is in marijuana, so is in alcohol. But the number one killer that kills teenagers is what they want to do for a gateway of drug to kill themselves. I think that is a, it's a good thing for certain people. You know, some people now, medically, mental, they need, they need help. It's just something that uh, I feel that doctors prescribe that, that can help people. People with cancer, you have all sorts of problems out here. So um, um, it's a good thing at the same time if it's, if it's used in a, in a proper way, I would say. Thanks for watching our first segment of 2019. We hope everyone had a safe and substance-free New Year's. I'm Amelia Tamayo and this was In Other News. Can you say bye? Bye! 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 bye. bye.